What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday and I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And today we are playing a six player progressive game with Fog and Blizzards on on World Conquest. I am in the first position. So, I'm first to act. World Conquest pretty much echoes preferred positioning on Classic. So, I'm going to expect that I can move these threes together. I'm going to easy take in Africa and sit there with a four stack. I think I consolidate in Japan now, expecting my 3 and 4 in North America to remain unmolested until the next turn. Settings for this game are uh, World Domination on World Conquest. Map Auto Setup 90 Second Turn Expert AI. Uh, ranked Game Progressive Cards Balance Splits Dice Novice Grandmaster with Alliance Soft. Fog and Blizzards are on. I'm in the first position. This is the Alt Pete account. Anything goes. 88 hours played with 147 wins and 101 losses in position two we have victor flying the flag of belgium with 42 hours played 15 wins and 46 losses in position three is clumsy guitarist 69 563 uh, from the good old us of a with 922 hours played 647 wins and 1443 losses i did not see where they went in position four we have general leather 1209 from the Netherlands, uh, 124 hours played, 76 wins, and yeah, they attack me, but they only get the single. 76 wins and 306 losses. In position 5, we have Stan Beal from United States of America with 367 hours played, 16, uh, 166 wins and 269 losses. And rounding it out, we have Serge Epsilon, the host of the game, flying the flag of Ireland with 559 hours played, 425 wins and 8 49 losses. Okay, I'm going to be going for the three position, probably the four position play this game as long as this survives. It doesn't look like it's going to. It looks like blue is going to try and take Europe. Okay, three position play it is. And as I said, echoes my style for classic map. So we're going to have the Japan, the Madagascar, and the North American position, ideally Central Canada. It's called Ontario. I don't know why I call it Central Canada. I call it Central Canada, I guess, because the risk board I grew up playing called it Central Canada. But Stove is right. He calls it Ontario. So we'll go with Ontario, my home. Um, I'm going to try and migrate the stack to Madagascar, but I don't really have to. I, I'm happy to leave it there. I'm actually doing very well. Let's just keep the home fires alive. Up in Yakutsk, so we have hope for fourth position. So 90 second turns, we've got a lot of time to think. Uh, I think I'm going to move into Southern Africa. And I'm going to consolidate my position in NA. Let's see who's in Falklands. Okay, Magenta's in Falklands. I can see almost this entire map, which is really good. And another thing you're going to want to do with Fog on is keep your visibility open. That's another reason why Ontario is great, because not only does it connect in six directions, it also sees in six directions. So these Nexus territories are even more important with Fog on. World Conquest adds uh, Svalbard in the north of Europe. It adds Falkland Islands in uh, South America. It adds Hawaii in North America, and it adds Philippines and a New Zealand that is blizzarded. Continent bonuses are slightly different. You have a 5 in NA, 5 in Europe, 7 in Asia, like Classic, 3 in Africa, but Oceania is worth 4. South America is worth 3, and you have all of these extra routes across the Pacific. And an additional uh, route over the North Atlantic and the South Atlantic as well. You might even want to call Greenland to Svalbard the Arctic Ocean, depending on the latitude. Hey, do y'all like talking about maps from a geography nerd? I've been having a hell of a time firing a lobby. Um, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> if there are not enough players or what. 
but I can't seem to easily find ranked lobbies on settings I want to play anymore. So I'm happy that I have an Anything Goes account where I can still shoot video and, and hop into someone else's game. Okay, looks like Black is spending most of their turn in draft. Are they botting out? Okay, they do switch to attack eventually. Is that a bot? Yes, it is a bot. Okay, Black is now an AI. Ooh, and they've surrounded my six stack. Oh, that's not good. How much of NA does Black have? Okay, I don't see where Magenta goes, but I do get to see their dice. Looks like they're making multiple attacks. see where blue goes either. I still think it might be correct to move to Ontario, but given that I might be inside a bot continent, that is a risky proposition, pun intended. Yeah, whole, not, not a whole hell of a lot that I can see in the fog. It looks like white might also be botting if they stay in draft. This is why 90 second turns kind of sucks, because when people bot out, you have to eat through all this dead air. Um... to attack looks like white and black are bots now yep that's bot motion okay okay now i can sit in the middle of north america with that stack and have it live for a while with two bots now in the game, I don't have to worry about skipping a card. Being that I'm in the first position, I would have thought about it. Hey, okay, purple getting takes in Asia. Black's a bot, so now we will see action here. Yep, and they take there. They take there. I lose my visibility in the center of the board. Maybe I should have strengthened that position as well. Right, Magenta is holding South America. I figured that's where they might have been. Getting six troops, and they're going to guard in the Falklands so that I can't open that door now. That's fine. I can move out of their way. Which way do you suppose Magenta's attacking? They only have two other directions, so I figure Magenta's probably in Mexico and North Africa. So my next turn, I'm going to attack north into Congo. The other idea may be to take uh, Siberia. Preferred positioning in fog, it occurs to me, is better to stay in these next eye so that you can see. So I'm going to migrate back to more connected positions and hopefully maintain some of the out of the way ones as well. What does white do? White's a bot, that's right. Okay, I can move through here and hopefully get to the Mideast. Good. 
good. I like that plan a lot. Okay, so we have, we have AIs all around us here. So who's left? Purple, blue, and magenta are my human opponents that remain in this game. Okay, purple puts in here. Rolls by five, no. They roll down, they roll into Indonesia. So Philippines is actually an out of the way spot. Japan is more connected because it goes into North America. The connectivity changes a lot with the blizzards. Hmm. Okay, Blackbot puts in an A. I lose Alberta, I can still see pretty much everything I could see before. It is going to be tricky to figure out when the right time to make kills is. Yeah, there's no reason for Magenta to not guard here. They can have a three position guard for South America, but they pull back. So they've locked some amount of troops inside of themselves now. Blue holds Europe. Okay, so blue might be only in one place, which is super dangerous. For progressive cards. Yeah, blue's there. Good. So I'm using my deduction now to figure out where people are and to kind of ascertain how large they are. Figure out when I can make kills. Okay, where is white? White's a bot? Yeah. The host of this game bought it out. That is suboptimal. Okay. They roll in magenta. I am now the last territory in a bot continent. I'm going to need to get the hell out. But they already matched in. Do I roll 10 on 4 or do I roll into the 2? I think I have to roll 10 on 4 in this scenario. Um, because if I hit this 2, magenta will see my stack again. I'd much rather let the bot take Africa. Didn't lose too badly. Still sitting at a 7. Let the bot take Africa, then Magenta at least has a bot between me and their continent. Okay, I still don't see where uh, purple is. Started with three troops. Where are they even attacking? Purples must be all the way here, right? Did they get broken? No, they never had anything. Okay, so purple's trying to take over Oceania now. They probably succeeded. Oh, no, don't attack 10v7. Okay. All right. These seven troops days are numbered. Same grace here is that they just matched in to do that, and blue also has seven troops in North America. Magenta held their bonus. Yes. Okay. Magenta is here. I'm getting take somewhere I can't see here. Okay, magenta is fighting purple. Cool. Now let's see how much material they have left in Asia. Because if I can lock blue into a single position, I think they already are. If I can lock magenta into a single position, this just makes my opponents easier to kill. Okay, blue helps me in NA. And I will be getting uh, the middling eight match. Okay, white takes there. No surprise. Okay. I'm happy with how much of the board I can see. I'm pretty much able to figure out where everybody is. I think the move here. Just buff everything to 10 stacks, except for that. That is a minor position still. Let's do a little fact finding and see how much of magenta remains. So magenta's in China. I infer that um, purple had Oceania, but doesn't have it now. So what I predict I see happen is purple consolidating and taking out. No, they do have Oceania. All right, so Purple is going to push through Siam and probably China. Okay, so Purple
purple is in one place. Black is in one place. White is in one place. Magenta is in one place. Blue is in one place. I am the only player in multiple positions. So now my strat is to avoid pissing anyone off. Because nobody can guess where I am because I'm not holding a bonus. I actually think on these settings, holding a bonus is a direct detriment because other people can figure out your locations. As long as I don't lose any of these positions, which is a big if, as long as I don't lose any of these positions, I'm the only player in multiple positions. Okay, pink puts in the 12. Do they dedicate any troops here or do they guard their stronghold i figure they guard how good are they looks like i'm the only player playing the multiple position game yeah there they, they hit black they hit black fairly aggressively how much of black is left Ooh, keep hitting them maybe i can kill black one two three four five ten 11, 12, uh, 16. Black is at 16, holding three cards. Ooh, that is close. Let's see if blue helps me and takes out that four. Blue matches and gets the 15. If I had a set, I'd try and kill black. I think I line myself up to do it in the hopes that they don't match in on three and try and get them for four cards. I'm gonna consolidate these two positions. No, I don't like that. I want to get out of there, though. That really scares me. You know what? If they have a set, they have a set. This at least lines me up to kill black on my next turn. I hope they're not there. Not out of purple's way. That should uh, diffuse the tension. Purple shouldn't fear that I'm going to break them because I have no intention of breaking my opponent's continents. In fact, as they slowly expand out of their strongholds, that shrinks the available territory in the rest of the board, giving me kill lines. I do have a match on four. I can use that against black. Yeah, they guard in Japan. No, they pull back the Philippines. Okay, purple is guarding strong. Black has a set on three. Damn it. Okay. Can I kill white? This ten stack's in trouble. This ten stack's in big trouble. Can I kill white? How much material does white have outside of Africa? Just this. I'm pretty sure. So I put everything here and kill white next turn. Get their four cards, unless they also match in. Magenta is there. Okay. Cool. I was wondering who was in your all. Magenta is still in two positions. Alright, I really want to see white not match in. Match point is 25. Blue hits a three of black. I can kill white. Yeah. High level of confidence. No match, no match, no match. Holds Africa. Match. Damn it. 
Now I lose my 10 stack. Both bots having matches on three have been really bad for me. Yeah, damn it. Okay. Losing this position is very, very bad for me. I think I lined myself up to kill black in two turns. So we go to two strong positions like this. Losing that 10 stack in Middle East was really, really bad. There's nothing I can do about it. Black doesn't have a continent. They're not going to trade in anytime soon. Purple matches against the 35. They're here. still have kill lines on black so i'm gonna have to take them when the time is right still a bit too early but next turn they'll have a card it won't trigger an intern match though someone could eat me okay black hits magenta I see where black is still, yep. I see all of you. This is fine. Okay, pink matches in gets the 40. Is pink gonna try and kill black? Pink is here. Moves into Hawaii. They are trying to kill black. Okay. No. They're causing trouble. <laughs> okay. Interesting strat. They're going to kill black. Take their two cards. This leaves them very weak. Huh? Pink's holding three cards. At the end of the turn, they're going to be holding four cards. Hmm. How weak is the question? Okay, they're going to con consolidate troops in their stronghold. One of these stacks goes down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I can kill Magenta. Blue matches against the 45. Maybe blue beats me to the punch if they don't. Magenta is the fish. This is really fun, trying to deduce where everybody is in the fog. I'm sorry if it's not the most exciting television. I'm trying to narrate it so that you guys can sort of see what I see. Blue makes my job slightly easier. Punches into Magenta. Doesn't connect to Japan? Does. Yes, hits Japan. Great. Weaken Magenta for me. Feed me this guy. Yes, hits him from the other side. Yes. They're, I think they're going to get close to the Alim, but not actually take the kill. And I'm going to get the kill. Yes. Yes. It pulls back for a guard? Or was that a split? Because we're playing 90 seconds, they will have time. Okay. That was Alaska. So I'm going to go one. Split here. Yeah, they have enough time. They're going to get the four cards and match in turn. Damn it. Okay, what do I do about this? One, two, three, four, five, and finally, kill. Okay. Blue. Blue. Gets the kill on Magenta. Matches and gets the 50. Damn it. They can see my two stacks. I'm only holding two cards. How strong is purple? White's not worth it. Okay, white gets... I didn't see blue move. Did I miss a fortify? 
Looks like they fortified within a ter within their own territory that I can't see. Okay, White is in draft. Did this scumbag bought out and then return? <laughs> This scumbag bought it out and then returned in the late game. The host of the game, Surge Epsilon 31, is no longer bought. I don't see him making attacks, though. He's botting out again. <laughs> he is attacking. This is a bot attack now, right? See most of white. Let's see what purple does about this. Maybe I get a lucky set? I don't. Okay. Holding three cards. I can make a kill on white, maybe, and match in turn. Purple fighting blue. Yes, by the looks of it. Good. This lines me up to kill purple, maybe. Because I know where they are. So I can swing down from this stack. How many attacks do I see? Okay. Both players hit blue. I hit blue, broke their bonus. Blue puts in 55 troops. Started with five. Yep. And I don't see where they're going. Perfect. They're trying to kill purple. I think they succeed. No, they're going to kill me too. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Fair enough. But you don't get all of me. Tough settings. Very tough settings. Oh, he does get all of me. Well played, Blue. Yeah. It's turn order for me. I had figured everything out. Just wasn't able to make anyone the fish at the right time. I think Blue wins this game. But let's see it through a little bit more. Oh no, I don't get to see through the fog. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was fun. High-ranked opponents, too. Host of the game is a master, and I believe he is a scumbag uh, reconnector. Um, so we placed ahead of uh, an expert, and we placed ahead of two experts, and we lost to an expert, a master, and an intermediate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining maybe a little bit informative and educational. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday, and I do the, sh the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. Every other day, I do whatever I feel like, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.